Okay, so grade 11s, I think we've got the swing of things here. We're simplifying, we've got exponents. We're thinking, well, let's make sure we've got prime bases and let's just see how many terms do we have because that's going to help direct what we need to do. So I count two terms in the numerator. As long as numerator or denominator have two terms or three or multiple, then we're going to look to split and factorize. So let's do that. I'm going to write this out. I'm just going to split everything up so that it's just got one term in each exponent. So seven times two to the x minus three times two to the x times two to the one. So we've just split it up into its separate components. Denominator two to the x minus two to the x times two to the minus one. Now separately on the numerator and denominator, we're going to look for a common factor. Well, it's probably going to be the same in the numerator and the denominator, to be honest, in the way that the question is designed. But let's look. In the numerator, I see a 2 to the x in that term and a 2 to the x in that term, which means we can take it out as a common factor. So writing in the brackets is easy. It must be two terms. We've still got a 7 over there minus 3 times 2 to the 1. Okay. Denominator, we're going to look for the common factor. Well, it happens to also be 2 to the x. That's convenient because in the next step, they'll cancel out nicely. So I'm going to take a 2 to the x out. And what am I left with? Well, easy. There are two terms on the denominator. So there must be two terms in this bracket. Notice how I've been saying that each time. Just counting the terms to go two terms here, which means there must be two terms in the bracket. Okay, well, 2 to the x times what will give us 2 to the x times 1. So just be careful. This here is 1 times 2 to the x. So sometimes what can be handy is to write that 1 times as a bit of a safety net. You know, where's the 1? Well, there's the 1 there. Minus, well, we still need to go 2 to the minus 1. And just, you know, check for interest sake. If you multiply this 2 to the x into the bracket, will you get back to the previous step? Well, 2 to the x times 1, that's the first term. And 2 to the x times minus 2 to the minus 1, well, that's minus 2 to the x times 2 to the minus 1. Same thing. Okay, now that we've done that, we can say, oh, well, one term over one term means we can safely cancel those out. 2 to the x goes in there once, goes in there once. And equals, well, this whole shebang here, we can just punch in the calculator or do it in your head. But... Maybe safer just to put in the calculator. Instead of going 7 minus 6, well, that's 1. This thing here is a 1 minus a half. That's a half. 1 divided by a half is 2. But might as well have just punched in the calculator. Okay, beautiful. I'll see you in the next one.